Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Today we are going to work with the last 3D Collider, the Wheel Collider. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now that we covered all the colliders, it's time to move to the last one, the Wheel Collider. This new collider is a little bit different from all the other colliders we have seen before. This collider has a built-in collision detection that is used for grounded vehicles. This component not only detects collisions but has a wheel physics and a slip-based slip tire friction in it. So if you have a vehicle with wheels, just like our truck here, this is what you should use in order to make the wheels move. Now before we actually look at the component itself, let's get our model ready before we actually add the collider to it. So, as you guys may remember, our parent game object here, the Loadmaster Cargo, has a rigid body component and next we have a child with the mesh and all the other colliders. So what I'm going to do now is to create a new child of the Loadmaster Cargo game object right here so create empty let's make sure is in zero yes okay and now I'm going to call it wheel colliders I'm missing a letter here okay so basically on this game object we are go is going to be the container for all the wheel colliders we are going to have in our vehicle so we want to have a wheel collider for each single wheel we have okay so we are going to actually have several game objects here one for each wheel now inside this new game object I'm going to create another game object another wheel game object so create empty so let's call it front wheel sorry for that let's call it um, uh, so like I was saying front, my dropbox seems to be updating okay so front wheel uh, right for example okay so this is going to to be the object where we are going to place our wheel collider for the front wheel of the right side okay so um, next what I'm actually going to do is to add the components so wheel collider here we have it okay and you guys let me just get this closer so you guys can take a better look so as you guys can see we have this um, circle here in, in, in this green line which represents our collider okay so before we actually move any any further let's take a look at the component here on the inspector tab shall we so uh, as you guys can see by looking here at the inspector view you, you can divide this component into several sections so on the first section we have the several parameters, we have mass, radius, wheel dumping rate, suspension distance, uh, force at distant point distance and center. Next we have the suspension spring where we define the spring, the dumper and the target position and we have two other sections for friction, one for forward friction and other for sideways friction, where we also define several values for friction. So for now let's just focus on the first section and we'll talk about the others once we finish with the first one, okay? So the first parameter here, mass, is where you actually define the mass of the wheel, right? So no big surprises here. Next on radius, you actually can set the radius of the wheel. So if I, for example, change the the radius you can see the size of the collider changing on my scene view 
Next, on wheel dumping rate, you set the value of dumping that is applied to the wheel. As for suspension distance, is where you define the maximum extension distance of the wheel suspension, just like in a car. So, this value is measured in local space. Keep in mind that the suspension always extends downwards on the local axis Y. The next one, the force at distant point distance, um, defines the point where the wheel forces will be applied. So, when this value is zero, the forces will be applied to the wheel base at rest. A quick tip regarding this parameter, uh, ideally the forces should be applied slightly below the vehicle center of mass, so this will give you a more realistic effect. Finally, here on center, you can actually define the position of the collider in local space, so just like we did with uh, other colliders okay so let's just leave this all in zero for now so before we actually move on to the next sessions let's set values that we are going to use uh, on this first section so first what I'm actually going to do and I'm going to explain why I'm doing this using the transform and not the center here we have our object is symmetrical so ideally what we actually want to do is to define a wheel collider all right a game object that we actually going to clone and apply to all wheels so it would not make sense to be changing this value here instead what I'm actually going to do is to change the transform position okay so what I'm actually going to do now is to set our collider in place so for this I'm going to change for the front view and this is the right side so I'm going to move it here to the right wheel okay as you guys can see we now have it in the middle of our wheel now I'm actually going to move to the right side, drag it and center it to our wheel, like this. Now as you guys can actually see, the radius of the wheel is quite big for our model, so I'm going to, re to reduce the size, for example, 1.8 should work just fine, and replace sorry for that so replace it right here and it seems to be just fine so for mass we are actually going to use the value 20 and for wheel dumping rate and suspension distance we are actually going to use 0 0.25 and 0 0.3 and for the other values we are actually going to leave the values at 0 so on the following video we are actually going to explore the remaining parameters of the wheel collider, in this case the suspension spring and the friction sections. Hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson, until the next video, have a nice day.